Netflix's showings in theaters could have made $200 million. Back in October, AMC announced its first ever Netflix showing in 200 theaters. Glass, Onion, and Knives Out Mystery starring Daniel Craig and others was released. CEO Adam Marin stated on Twitter that success here could lead to more Netflix movies in AMC theaters. The film earned $15 million at the box office, but CNBC says the showing could have made $200 million if it had been kept in theaters longer. Unfortunately for the online streaming platform, hundreds of millions of dollars were left on the table. Box office says Glass Onion could have earned much higher earnings if Netflix had opted for a traditional wide release of 2,000 to 4,000 theaters. CNBC stated Netflix has backtracked on its previous policies, including by introducing an ad-supported subscription option, leading many to wonder whether the company should rethink its resistance to traditional Hollywood movie release models as well. So it just goes to show that the movie theaters do still have a very, very important role to play in releasing new films, whether they're released on streaming platforms or in the theaters or maybe both. The movie theaters are an important aspect and the money, the numbers do not lie. If Netflix would have left the movie in theaters for much longer, the numbers would have been incredible. So while that's panicking, it's been said for almost two years that before the Moaz, it will get really bad and ugly. They want to create less millionaire billionaires. It's a psychological game. If you are weak, then get out and stop crying. I personally have nothing to lose. F them. Never surrender. Personally, I think Moaz will start when you least expect it. Going back to Zen, not financial advice, just an ape. So I can only speak on my own personal experience. I'm currently down quite a bit on my shares of AMC and Ape. And I'm not going to lie, months back, many months back, it used to sort of annoy me or, or make me a little bit scared logging into my portfolio and looking where the shares are at and how much they were up or down. But at this point, I'm super zen. I don't really care either way. I don't really care how low they drop the price. I'm investing into the company because I believe in the company and I believe there's short-term or long-term upside potential. And I think there's a lot of it. So... I'm going to buy more shares when the price is right and keep holding onto the shares that I have.